Matthew Pamperin lives just off Brady and came to tonight's meeting after consistently seeing someone using drugs just across the street from his house. Well, my neighbor Don and I, we just um, decided that we've seen enough. Kyle Mulkey is hoping for more police in the popular East Side neighborhood, something Alderman Nick Kovac says will happen. Open drug dealing, um, open using of drugs, um, crack. Um, Dawn has seen people actually shoot up in her driveway. There's a drug issue here, and there's a lot of violence, and needs to be addressed. We need more presence by the police. Alderman Kovac says police could divert resources from Brady Street from another popular nightlife area. I'm getting complaints from business owners and residents that they want to see more police response on Brady and we'll make sure that happens. In May, a 24 year old woman was shot inside of the bar, the garage on Arlington. And earlier this summer, someone carjacked a Lyft driver just off of Brady Street. I agreed with some of the suggestions that um, there's a lot of cars on water and Brady's uh, an entertainment district that certainly rivals water for, for density. And so I think it probably makes sense for us to deploy some resources from water onto Brady. I just hope that, you know, things can turn around and I just hope with the collaboration with the police department and, uh, you know, Brady Street neighborhood and the East Village, we can do something about it and make it a better place. And Ben is back with us live tonight. Ben, do we know when there could be more officers on Brady Street? Derek, that wasn't completely clear. Officers presented crime data here. They didn't say if crime was up, though, on Brady Street. They said there is likely going to be another meeting like this one to discuss those crime trends a little bit more in depth. Ben Wagner, live in Milwaukee tonight.